Three promising Australian films were released on the same weekend across Australia last month. All three flopped. Films Griff the Invisible, The Reef and A Heartbeat Away aren't even coming close to making the amount of money the government has spent on them. This is the trailer from A Heartbeat Away, which is proving to be the biggest loser of them all. It costs $7 million to make and nobody wants to watch it. Do you have to play so loud? Um, it's rock and roll. Luke Buckmaster writes the film blog for online publication Crikey. I think that's one of these times when we look at something that's uh, gone beyond a flop. It's a cataclysmic, apocalyptic failure. Mr Buckmaster says these films fail because our government doesn't look at the film industry from a business perspective. If the Australian film industry was actually run as a business, I think you'd see the whole place uh, go bankrupt within a couple of years. I mean, the centre would just collapse right out of the Australian film industry. And that's, I think, one of the reasons why it's important that people not only start to uh, look at Australian films in terms of their commercial prospects, but move into genre filmmaking and perhaps give out a larger amount of uh, films a smaller amount of money. The Cinema Nova in Carlton has long been a supporter of Australian films. They screened Griff the Invisible with limited success. Manager Christian Connolly says that profitability isn't a priority for the government. Box office. Uh, if it's government based then what you tend to do is find films get made that maybe really don't appeal to an audience and uh, you know they might be very well made however at the end of the day when you see the final film you say who is this made for? Who, who is intended to, to come along and see this movie? And Upcoming director Patrick Pearce is frustrated about the bad reputation these films are giving the Australian industry. When you get these bad ones coming through, it just, it just reinforces society's idea that you can't see a good film in, in Australia or that it's going to be uh, too art house or too not, not, not just not commercial enough to sell. And so that's something that I think that um, as filmmakers we have the responsibility to really change. A huge amount of taxpayer money continues to go into films that have very little success. People are beginning to wonder where their money is going and why it's being thrown away. But there may be a solution. Anthony Ganane is the president of the Screen Producers Association of Australia. He says the solution lies in a fund called the Producer Distributor Film Fund, or the PDFF. This would help make our films more commercially viable and therefore more successful. The PDFF tries to create a funding model for films in that middle range. Uh, a, a loan fund uh, matched by distributors to bring distributors more aggressively into the production um, analysis very early in the piece. Much like in t the success that we have in Australian television, which is massive compared to what we have in, in, in Australian feature films, largely that's because nothing gets on Australian television if a broadcaster hasn't been involved very, very early in the piece. There's a commercial mentality, an end user mentality, a market mentality brought to bear on the process. But whatever they decide, the government is going to have to do something if Australian films are ever going to compete at the box office. Catherine Smirk, Newsline.